basketball games do you think that you participated in in your life? I mean, could you even put that into a number? No, nah, I've a lot, a lot from over the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, playing four to five to six games a day, playing with my fourth, playing fourth grade, then fifth grade, just playing 20 games over a weekend, nationals, playing a lot of games um, from weekend to two days off, back at it this summer, going to camps four or five days, one day a break, one day home, go back to another camp, same thing. So it's been a lot, it's been a lot, definitely been a lot. Well, you gotta, you gotta understand every weekend from, from March to about June, you're gone. Um, and, and that's what we've been doing for many years. Um, and he, when he wasn't playing with us, he also kind of played with some other teams. He's played with a team out of Indiana uh, pretty much the whole month of July when he was in the fourth and the fifth and the sixth grade. And uh, we still communicate with those guys over there. Uh, you know, but when you talk about trying to be great and, and trying to be on that elite level, you have to give up things. Uh, Xavier hasn't had a summer this summer or last summer. Uh, he's always been basketball, team camp, and more basketball. Well, he got up early in the morning before school and always wanted to work out. Um, he always, always, he's just so consistent. He's such a great kid. Um, he's a regular teenager, but I think more it was him sewing into his spiritual side. You know, as far as him going to church, um, sowing seeds and tithing for, um, for um, to be, um, to be good at everything, you know, and sewing for his spiritual side, for him to have a good relationship with God. And by him being so spiritual, I think that was one of the things that um, made Xavier who he is today because he got in tap with that spiritual side and um, developed a relationship with God. Um, one of the things he did also was getting up early in the morning before he went to dribble in the kitchen. He started off dribbling in the kitchen, um, but before that, he would read the Bible. Uh, it's definitely a lot of working time. I mean, I went, I've been up five in the morning, going after school, then going at night, getting shots up, making sure my jump shot is better so I can take my, my game to the, to the next level. Um, missing missing little parties, missing just hanging out with my friends, missing a lot of things to become the person I am. And I look back at it, at the time I was kind of like, I want to go do this, I want to go do that, but uh, but um, I went to go work out instead. So as I look back at it, I was just want I just, I just tap myself on the back and just keep striving. He sacrificed a lot when a lot of kids, uh, you know, hang out, you know, go to little functions, go to little teen parties, you know, he's gone. You know, he's he has to see what they're doing on Facebook or Twitter or social media. You know, so I've seen the grind, I've seen the sacrifices, the getting up, you know, since he's been, you know, in the eighth grade, 5.30 in the mornings, coming to the gym, and it, it was never forced. Um, I let him make the decision if this is what he wanted to do. I've seen him, you know, allow me to show him how to lift weights, now he does it on his own. Um, you know, just the transition from becoming a boy to a young man, I've been able to, to, to witness that transition. and 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 to see that his, he's not where he could potentially be um, is another great thing. The early days were exciting because I really wasn't that good, but I always had the heart and the passion to just, to just try to win and try my best. I always had some type of skill because we worked out a lot, but the early days were, was, uh, it was definitely some memories uh, from the junior NBA to the Y League to the working out at the YMCA every single day. He used to be really, really aggressive at a young age. Uh, he was like a football player playing basketball. I remember him not understanding how to play defense, so he would, he would dive right at the ball, and if a guy turned his body to shed the ball, he would tackle him. Uh, but as you know, I was never gonna take that aggressiveness away because I always felt if I took it away at an early age, it would be hard to get it back. So I just kind of molded him as he got older. Um, he was a kid that, you know, I had an outdoor league when he was in, I think, third grade, he was diving on the cement for loose balls outside. Uh, one of my former players uh, kind of reminded me of that today. Uh, just a guy that's just been really, really aggressive, uh, had all the tools early besides the outside shooting. Um, and, and I think, you know, I knew once he developed that on a consistent basis, sky would be the limit. With the things I couldn't do, I couldn't make shots or I couldn't dribble through the cones the correct way that I wanted to. So I would get mad and throw, temp and throw a temper. My temper was very high, so I would get mad and just throw the ball or just quit a workout during the middle of the workout. It could be early or it could be the last part, but I felt if I couldn't do something, I would get mad and just, and just quit, just throw the ball. 
and just quit. So how did you how did you break out of that mode of doing things? I broke out of that by just just kept working hard, kept being in the gym. And when I noticed me noticed myself just started doing stuff that I couldn't do last week, that, that made me invest more time, made me want to do, do more stuff so I can be the best and play and be at the highest position so I can be. I'm at a younger age still now, it's it's hard to beat him. I'm not it's just hard to beat him. Everything, everything he it seemed like he always had the advantage to win. He does it like he does it relentless. So it's like I've been I've been working hard. I feel like I can beat him now. I know I can beat him now. Uh, it's a lot of people that I looked up to and I can beat now, but Growing up, it was hard playing against him because I feel like he would, he would never let me win anything, whether that's a video game, whether that's, uh, whether that's wrestling, whether that's basketball, whether that's football, whether that's tackling, whether that's outside in the backyard playing football. He would never let me win everything, so that just made me grind a little hard so I can have enough talent. Even I'm not just playing against him, but when I play against others, I'll have enough talent to just win, the skill to just win. Uh, I'm not going to be long, I just want to thank you. My family and friends for uh, and you guys for attending this and supporting me throughout the process. I want to thank the coaches who have recruited me in the past and uh, thank those who have done something. I want to individually thank these four people right here, from my brothers to my mom and my dad. They've been important to my life and without them, I would not be the person I am today. I'm not going to hold you guys in love, but I am Xavier Simpson, committed to the University of Michigan. <laughs> Michigan started recruiting me about maybe three to four weeks ago, and when I took made him an unofficial visit there to, uh, in a few, a few days ago, it was just it was just an amazing experience. It was all the things I I wanted in the school. They uh, talked to me. They helped. They they helped me in some parts. Um, they just been talking to me. They've been recruiting me for about three or four weeks, as I said. They it's a point guard system. The coaches and I have a great relationship. Um, it just I felt like it was the best school for me when I took when I finally when I touched down there. It was definitely. A boost in my heart because the atmosphere just felt like I, it, I was needed to be there, and with and people that's in my grade that's being there, like Abby Watson that I always played with. It's always good to see him go to Michigan. Now I'm going to Michigan. Maybe we can hope, hopefully build a relationship. You know, like I said, they have a, a X is a great kid, and he is going to very much make you know us proud, his family. As a father, anytime you, you know your child you know has an opportunity to go to uh, school for free, you know, especially doing something that they love to do. Um, that's a beautiful thing. That's a, it's a blessing. Uh, God has definitely put his hands on his family and, and blessed us. You know, we have a powerful family, you know, when it comes to athletics. Uh, so, you know, he's just another guy in the family that's doing the right things the right way, and he's getting what he deserves. It was good having two parents on my side. A lot of people don't have that, so it was good having my, my mom there and make sure she, because she always makes sure I make my head is on my shoulders. Uh, she makes sure that um, God is always first, first in life, which is always good, because that's the most important. And my dad just, just helped me make this ball bounce.